Disconnect the negative battery cable, red arrow. Make sure it cannot make accidental contact with the battery while working. Remove the five Phillips head screws holding the lower dash under panel in place and remove it from the car. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. You will need a special Mercedes tool or a homemade equivalent to remove the instrument cluster. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. Remove the plastic or rubber surround, red arrow, by simply pulling it away. On some models, you may need to bend the tabs back that hold the surround in place. You are going to need a thin, strong piece of metal that should be less than 1.25 millimeters in diameter. It is a good idea and will make removing the tumbler much easier if you file the end down to a beveled edge. Insert the key into the ignition and turn it to the accessory or first position, red arrow. The opening in the tumbler will be just before the first position. This is where you want to insert the wire, yellow arrow. Press the wire in until it releases the lock on the theft prevention tube that surrounds the tumbler, red arrow. This can be tricky the first time you do it, so take your time and you will get it. Sometimes the black theft prevention tube will move forward when you release the lock. Other times you just have to try and turn the tube by hand to discover if you have released it. Once it's unlocked, turn it counterclockwise until it comes off the ignition housing. You can now remove the anti-theft tube from the old tumbler, as you're going to reinstall the tumbler without the tube to remove the assembly. Reach into the opening and wiggle and pull the electrical connector from the rear of the ignition assembly, indicated by the red arrows. Carefully label and remove the two vacuum lines, red arrows if equipped, from the side of the assembly. Working from under the dash, disconnect the electrical connection from the assembly, yellow arrow, and using a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the clamping collar, red arrow, on the assembly. Press down on the lockout tab and reinsert the tumbler into the assembly, as indicated by the red arrow. Turn the key to position 1, which is the same position you use to remove the tumbler. Working under the dash, press in the release tab on the assembly by the locking collar, red arrow. You can use a 3mm Allen or other suitable tool. Once the tab is pressed in, turn the key back to the zero position and remove the key. The tab can only be depressed when the ignition is in the one position. Rotate the assembly upwards until the tumbler clears the front of the dash and remove the assembly. With the assembly out from the dash and column, you can better see the release tab you will be depressing, red arrow. To replace the switch, remove the three flathead screws as indicated by the red arrows. You can now separate the switch from the assembly. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure to install the assembly with the key in the number one position, as this is the only position you can depress the locking tab. Then turn the assembly until you hear the release tab lock into position. Remove the key and tighten the collar. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.